Hey. Hey. You are not Kevin Costner. I was last night. It's showtime, folks. Let me tell you about a young guy. They called him Slippin' Jimmy. And everybody wanted to be his friend. I'm doing elder law now. Need a will? Call McGill. I'm Special Agent Jeffrey Steele, FBI. FBI. FBI, I'm undercover, okay? You got me. I'm the tip of the spear, and releasing me would be the smart move. Okay, uh, Special Agent, uh, Steele? Jeffrey A. Steele. As soon as it was cold enough, he'd find a nice, smooth patch of ice. State Street was good, Michigan Avenue was better. He'd pick his spot, wait for it to get busy, then he'd walk out on the ice, and boom! <laughs> Okay. Oh, yes, an ambulance. That's a good idea. You guys have liability insurance, right? Look at the logo. That's our logo. He's just straight up copying us. I mean, what the hell is he thinking with this? Your Honor, I feel like I'm in the mirror routine with Groucho Marx. Like we should be standing, waving our arms at each other. Really? I don't see it. You're in danger. You're in danger. You have a terrible connection. Can you, you call back on a better line? Kettleman's, you're in danger. They're coming for your money. Bye. You did. Oh, God, you didn't. You didn't do the sex robot voice, did I you? I did. The tube and the whole thing. Electric slide on in there. And we'll just wrap a little bit. No, my name's Ken. Uh, Victor with a K. Cool. Victor with a K. Oh, Victor, there you are. So sorry I'm late. I had to put on a few flowers. No problem. I made a new friend, Dale. My brother, Victor. Hey, how you doing? Oh, nice to meet you, Dale. Thanks for keeping Sis company. My pleasure. This is school property. You're just the person I want to speak to. It would be incredibly helpful if you could get those kids and that building over there to just keep it down for a bit. We're making a documentary. That's, oh. I was told there was a display or a plaque of some kind. Would you know where that would be? Why would we have a plaque? because of who went to school here. Who went to school here? Rupert Holmes, that's who the documentary is about. He went to school here? Yeah, I was class of 64, he still talks about it. Hello there, Free Will Baptist, Pastor Hansford speaking. Uh, who it is? Good afternoon, Pastor. My name is Suzanne Erickson. I'm an assistant district attorney from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Oh, that's a long way off, Cher. Mm-hmm. Um, the court has received numerous letters from members of your congregation in regards to Mr. Huell Babineau. Uh, him special. Uh, he's got a heart as big as Lake Ponchot train. Mm. Um, do you mind my asking, what did he do to gain so much devotion in Cushada? Well, ma'am, for starters, he's a bona fide hero. Well, well put that down, Pat. Get rid of them robes now. That's for communion. I, now, I will be with you presently, uh, ma'am. Have you set a date yet for Huel trial? Uh, no, not yet. Well, would you do me a kindness? And, um, bring me up when you do, because we got a couple of charter buses. We're gonna bring the whole congregation up to y'all in Albuquerque. I'll make sure to let you know. Bless you. And I look forward to meeting you. Next, big fella outside. His name's Huel Babineau. Go ask Huel about me. He was facing three years. He was facing six years. Eight years down in Guadalupe. He was facing 25 years. Didn't do a single day. That's why he calls me the magic man. I asked him not to call me that, but he insists. <laughs> I'm not gonna let him Wait, do the deprive boys. I'm not gonna imitate him. Yes, come on, give me a nibble. I mean, the, he's a good old boy, right? So do he talk like this? Uh, no, no. Ding it, dang do? It's, uh, it's more like, um, <laughs> lawyer comes in, crazy comes out. <laughs> I need that call center real bad. Of course, Kevin. Wait, are you being me? Yes, this is you. Yes, go on, go on. Uh, okay, Phil. Yeah. 
Where's Aiden? Oh, hey, lady. Um, he's fine, but he's very hungry. Bill. And he's like Bill. a little eating machine. Bill. Could you sniff Bill. this for me? Where's Aiden? He's fine. He's in the Wrangler. Just take a smell because what? it's a little funky. You left my right. child in your Jeep? Yeah, I cracked the window. Just, Bill. what? Check this. Just give me the keys. I'm not gonna check it. Where are you going? To get Aiden because you can't leave a baby in a car. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, oh. man. What am I supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? I, I, no, 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 but a personal injury suit? Best case scenario, that gets him in with an associate. <sighs> Mesothelioma. <clears throat> when I took that job at the shoe factory, I had no idea I was risking my life. No, I can't stop coughing. <laughs> you got me mixed up with someone. Uh, my name is Takovic. Gene Takovic. Dispatch, Steve. Yes, this is Kathy Deutsch. I'm the manager of the Lancasters in Omaha. And you guys just delivered something that we did not order. Clearly, this is a mistake you need to fix. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry, ma'am. My boss is going to just... Oh, great. Ricky's book salad. <laughs> Ricky? He's a driver. Hey, I've got an idea. Um, I've got an extra truck. I could drive over there myself. Great. How long till you get here? Well, I'm just over in Irvindale, uh, so if I leave right now, I'll be there in four hours. Four hours? We're closing for the night here. Oh, whew. If you promise me that Ricky will get back here by 10 a.m. tomorrow, I'll hold the box overnight. Yeah, my guy will be there. 10 a.m. on the dot. With flowers. Well, flowers won't be necessary. But thanks for the thought. Thank you. It's showtime, folks. Mayhew, is that uh, Irish or English? Irish. Faith and Begora, a fellow potato eater. My real name's McGill. Yeah, the Jew thing I just do for the homeboys. They all want a pipe hitting member of the tribe, so to speak. I digress. Um, Go crawl back in your hole, McGill, or Goodman, whatever you're calling yourself, you two-faced, blackmailing, money-grubbing son money of a bitch. You're saying the quiet part out loud, I think. Gentlemen, can we just get the volume down? You know damn well that's not what I meant. In this day and age, I'd hoped and prayed we'd be beyond this. You're about as Jewish as my Aunt Fanny. 5,000 years and it never ends. Look at you. You're a triple threat. Great services, great products, and most of all, that face. You're a star. Oh, wrap it all up in your natural charisma and bam, you belong on TV. Better watch out for autograph hounds and paparazzi. And it gets better. I can have you on the air tomorrow. You heard me right, tomorrow. Better get ready to be famous, Albuquerque. I can make you a TV star for a price you can afford. Call me. Saul Goodman, the world needs to know about you and your business. Call me now. Call me now. Saul Goodman. Yeah, it's like, it's all good, man. <laughs> that guy has a lot of energy. Yeah. It's just a name. Huh. <sighs>